Hello people and welcome back to Core on Dashcam channel, a channel that features only the craziest and most epic road moments ever caught on driver's dashcam. And today we prepared something really special for you guys, because today's episode is going to be all about when cops are on time and some instant karma, so make sure to grab your snacks, because you'll definitely need them for this episode. In this crazy video we have a guy who broke into a taxi vehicle and started driving around. Luckily, the cops intervened immediately and they successfully managed to arrest the culprit before he did any harm. In this video, we have a crazy Mercedes driver who was speeding way too much for his own good here. On top of that, he was dangerously overtaking other vehicles, but his stunts didn't last for long. biker was cutting off traffic and unfortunately for him, he didn't notice that a police officer was watching him the entire time and he pulled him over. Check out how the rest of the situation developed and make sure to write me your thoughts about this one as well. Good sir, how are you today? I'm doing great. You have an idea what's going on, right? Yeah, but my bike's overheating, I'm just trying to get home. Turn it on for me? Huh? Turn the bike on for me. Can I see it? 
I do. Registration's all in here. Yeah, your insurance I don't need. I just need, I just need your uh, your registration and your license. That's it. I don't need much. You have a helmet on you. Good to go. How are you today? I'm doing great, man. And you? Oh, not too bad. Just ready to be home. What branch? Marine Corps. Okay. What, uh, you've been ticketed before. You tell me for what? Huh? You've been ticketed before for what? As far as, what do you mean? Whatever track of violations you had in the past war. That... Plenty of speeding. Did you? Okay. Yeah. O2. Oh, right, give me a second, sir. Okay? Yeah. Alright, thank you, sir. Do me a favor, stop cutting around traffic like that or including between traffic. Can't do that for your safety and obviously everybody else out here. Um, thank you for your service. There's your license. Appreciate the warning. Not a problem. What's your warning? Just help me out. I hope you out. You help me out. Okay, sir? Understood. Take care, man. Have a safe day. Have a great day. This driver got wrongfully pulled over by an officer. As you can see, a driver in a white SUV sped past the camera on the left side. And when the officer pulled them over, he let the driver in the white SUV go. What's the speed limit here? 55. That guy passed us up. That guy just passed us up. That guy just passed us up. Why are you pulling me over? I wasn't doing 70. You were way back there. That guy just passed me up. Okay. Well, I got you at 70 miles an hour. It wasn't me, it was that guy. I'm okay, telling you right now. I do, yeah. Okay. Why? You let that guy go and he just passed us you up. You were passing back there, okay? No, we back weren't then, passing. When I was sitting on the side of the road, I'm not going to argue with you, all right? Give me your license, registration, There insurance. you go. It, we weren't driving that fast. I've got it on video. Okay. I've got it on video right here. Hello, people, and welcome back to Code on Dashcam channel, a channel that features only the best and craziest thrilled moments ever caught on driver's dashcam. And we'll start today's episode off with some basic fails caught on driver's dashcam. We'll talk about your bad luck in this situation right here for the Kia driver. Out of all the vehicles he could have rear-ended, he chose to rear-end a police officer. All hell broke loose once the police was called over to intervene in this situation. Someone was kicking a car, and when the police arrived, the guy who caused the whole mess started fleeing. But he didn't go too far, because he caused an accident as he tried to get away. Where did this person go? Hey, let's clear this car! Put your hands on your back. Head by your back. Don't fucking reach. Don't, don't fucking reach. Give me your hands. Don't you I fucking do move. Nothing, I do nothing, sir. I do nothing, bro. We tried to go get to his computer, all right? And the mom pulled out a gun on him. Can you think about the police to get the computer? No, why am I going to call the police? I don't need to. They pulled out a gun on you and you run from the police? And the guy pulled out because I didn't know what was going on. Came out as a 34. Initially, they were arguing. What do you do? We get there and they fled. Can you move your car real quick? My car's on the side. Yeah, the, the key oh, fob was lost. Yeah, there's, there's probably more to it, but 
as we were arriving, I guess Edwards got oh, there first and he took off in the car for three years. What's my girlfriend? contact or anything. But basically, he came out as a 34 that he was threatening the chick. And, uh, why the pass or whatever the case is. But he said that he had opened uh, cases from previous incidents. What's the problem? He's just escorting. He's not, uh... It never pays off if you run from the cops. Always be ready to face up to your mistakes, because you only make it worse on yourselves. And in the next clip, you will see what happens to those rude drivers who casually run red lights. They are there for a reason. When you cut in
of the cops. This driver caused an accident and he still didn't want to stop. Hopefully, the driver that ended up in a ditch is doing okay. <laughs> They ran. Oh, they're running from the cops. Yeah. What oh I, what I do? I mean, there's nothing you can do. You check if she's okay. Should we ask her? Yes. You want to check if she's okay? Maybe I shouldn't make it this too obvious. Hmm. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, you got it! <laughs> go, baby, go! <laughs> oh, that's so much... <laughs> Our good buddy John Decker uh, checking in with us. And... Uh... John, what's the... What's the story here about the... What's, what's happening? In the Ukraine, in Ukraine, I know that's a that's a that's a big issue that's uh, that, that's on the table at this point. Well, I think it's the biggest issue right now uh, that is uh, confronting. Oh! Administration, uh, some news to report. Uh, the news being that NATO has sent more ships. A few moments later. Officers spent around 10 minutes chasing the driver in a white SUV in circles. It's only one way in and out of this neighborhood, but the officers were not aware of that. They could have blocked the exit if they knew, but instead they were chasing him around. I think that the driver on the right side of the camera stopped to let the police vehicle through. The driver in a blue vehicle dangerously passed the camera and zigzagged his way through traffic. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't paying attention at his surroundings and an unmarked cop was right there next to him. This biker's senses of perception are really sharp. He was the only one who noticed an unmarked police vehicle there, and he made sure to stay on his best behavior. Unfortunately, not all traffic participants were as sharp as him. I notice these two little lights next to his brake light. I'm thinking, uh oh. I'm already on my best behavior because I know I'm. I know I'm already in the wrong. So I'm thinking to myself. Let's see what happens here. Just be a nice chap and do everything properly. So ahead of me is this car, and I'm, there's a roundabout coming up, and I'm thinking oh, I can overtake the car into the roundabout no problem. The car starts to indicate, so move back into the inside lane. Meanwhile, look at this coming up behind me. Look at you. You've just come steaming past, and then my police car. I've not seen that car, and now I don't want you to cut me over in front of me. So I'm watching you, watching the roundabout, watching the car, watching everybody. Gonna be a good chap, going round the roundabout. Don't want to cut anybody up. I'm at the speed limit, what's he doing? Meow. You crack on, son. I hope you enjoy your day. Because coming up behind you are these nice gents. And now they're, now they're more interested in you. And at this point, I'm starting to laugh because I'm thinking, yeah, this apes. They're going to do you off the roundabout. Ah, oh, there's a learner car there. There's a learner driver. That's going to slow you up. But he's going to have to go in a minute. Sure, look, it's clear. He's going to have to go. Well, one car. Well, he's going to go after this car. Cyclist car. He's going to have to go. What's going to happen? What's going? He's going. He's going. He's gone for it. 
He's actually gone for it. I can't believe he's done it. Oh my word. Oh, 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 and he's back in. That was... Well done, sunshine. Now then, what's going to happen? Oh! It's funny that he's being chased down by a blue BMW. And he seems to be making some progress. I wonder what's going to happen next. Okay, we've got junctions, we've got learner drivers. I've got to look after myself here a minute. Let's get at the, get at the way of that car at the junction. Mind the potholes. And around we go. Now I'm thinking... Oh, oh, there they are. Look, I can just about see them up ahead. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? When's he going to get done? It's going to have to get done. Oh, look. The blue flashy lights have come on. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, my word. That was brilliant. That was like a story to behold. Nice. Well done. Absolutely spot on. Thank you for that. I enjoyed that. Biker didn't know that there was an undercover cop on the road at that time, but luckily he was doing the speed limit. And unfortunately, another driver blew past the biker and the cop. Check out what happened next. Undercover. Damn. Good thing I didn't blow past them. In this situation. We have a driver who lost his focus for a split second, and that was all it took for him to hit the guardrail. And the cops were soon on the scene, and they tried to solve this as fast as they could. Cameron was just minding his own business and doing the speed limit, but one driver was not pleased about being stuck in traffic, so he decided to break the law a bit. This is something that's about to come around and bite him. first clip, you will see why it's never a good idea to break the speed limit. You can never know when a cop is watching, and this driver here learned his lesson the hard way. Pay close attention at the right lane. This driver was speeding and on top of that the road was already wet and slippery due to rain. This move was really dangerous on his behalf, but luckily an officer was there to intervene just in time. Java in the far right lane thought that it would be a good idea to break the speed limit and move past the traffic. He had a great plan indeed. 
but an officer spoiled it for him. County Sheriff's Office. Hey, officer. The reason I pulled you over is you're going way too fast down this mountain. Why? Sorry about that. Why? Um, I don't know. This is not a track. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You got that. the gloves on. I mean, I know the suspension's good. I know. I know it can handle turns. It's not like it's a Porsche, got... but. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. that. I'm sorry about you that. Can. Yeah. Can I see your driver's license, please? Sure, yeah. Shut it off. Can I, yeah. Can I reach it in my pocket? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Thanks. I was doing almost 60 to catch up to you. I really? know you were doing high 40s, high 50s going down the mountain. It's like 35 on the turn. Oh, sorry about that, officer. Do you need my insurance as well, or? You have insurance on it? Yeah. Okay. No, it's just it's you. Okay, cool. Just hang tight. Okay. Right. Few minutes later. Yeah, had to be. That that C6 was definitely going faster. Alright, listen, it's a nice day. Yeah. You're out driving around, okay? Yeah. I didn't write you a ticket, okay? Appreciate it. I gave you a warning. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, appreciate it. So, written warning is documented that I pulled you over. Okay, gotcha. For going too fast for the conditions of the roadway, the conditions being the tight turns. Right, okay. okay. Walking County Just, 752, 1081. Yeah, okay. Just please slow down. Please. Yeah, for sure, yeah. I'm about to just head back on. <laughs> Just be careful. All right, yeah, appreciate it, man. What's your name? So good to meet you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. All right, for sure. You have a good one. The driver that was behind the camera got tired of doing the speed limit, so he passed him by. Unfortunately for him, an officer was just down the road and he saw exactly what happened. People speed through here quite often, and this driver surely regret what he did.
The driver that was behind him didn't quite read the situation well and he rear-ended him right in front of a cop. driver on the left side of the biker felt himself way too much this day. Not only did he pass the biker, but he also passed the cop. Unbelievable. It's illegal to drive on the shoulder on the road here in Texas, but unfortunately, this biker is going to learn this lesson the hard way. Yes, I'm a, I'm a fan. That's why it's always great to you know, come and hang out. Harold, you're the newest member here, I think. I told you guys, this is Greg, me, for my kid, watching Greg do the, the one more thing, go, and I'm old. I got hooked on the show, so thank you guys for having me. Jesse, I'm going to just point out real quick before we get your reaction. We have food here from Arthur and Sons. This is a... Yeah. Chelsea. They also own Serendipity 3, which I think we probably all I love it. I, I ran up that guy's ass. Our viewers have made it awesome. One of the away. things I've always been amazed by is how they remember things that happened 11 years ago. Yeah. And they can tell you exactly what it was and who said it and why it made them laugh. Or a few moments later. I've been there. Uh, they have a service for the DA at La Jolla. He's letting these guys run wild. And it's just... Oh, another cop. Tell me he's going to get the, get the guy with this.
you can't be behaving as if the road is your private property. And the driver in this clip actually did that. And unfortunately for him, well, see for yourselves. Allegedly, this bike got pulled over for an expired tag. The cop either read that they were expired, or he couldn't read them at all.
Java was being careless, and out of all the times to act like that, he chose to act in front of a cop. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a good idea to break the speed limit, and this speeder is going to learn this the hard way. Always think twice before pulling a crazy maneuver like the driver in a red car here. after you saw the crazy swerve in between cars and the cop immediately switched his lights on and pulled his guy over Red car, is right that right in front of him? Uh -oh. no, he's, he's got him oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Karma cop! <laughs> so, double click it? Yep expect to run a red light and go out without consequences. Sometimes, karma slams you hard and fast. An espresso. It's a little gift to give yourself. Find your cheer on the Starbucks app today. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. No, dude. How did you not notice a cop on the road? The worst state trooper on the back of his car can be seen from miles away. Come on. This Java was all like, hey, let's run a red light, and in front of a cop as well. Ah, you suck. Ah, ran the red, in front of a cop. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Get him, go get him! Yes!
hope you're not too. Did you just run the red? Another one. You just ran the red. Oh, 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 God. Got him. Cameron was going the speed limit of 45 on a dark, deer infested road, but that was too slow for the car behind him as they decided to overtake. Down the road, well, you guess what happened. Some crazy things happened here at the intersection. Well, let's just say that one driver got himself into a lot, and I mean a lot of trouble. Bad fast mm -hmm. like that. Who is that? The That's cop. The cop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And he was right. Oh! Oh! Yo, this second oh! accident! Yo, this second accident! Oh, I got it on that I got it on that Oh! And unfortunately for him, a cop was nearby and he started chasing him as soon as he ran it. Check it out. In this next clip, you will see how badly road rage and stubbornness can affect you. This truck driver was yelling at a couple in a car and he really didn't want to let them be. At one point, he hit their car and told them to get out. The whole time, they were on the phone with the police. Check out this crazy outcome. Multiple police cars were chasing this driver for some reason and it all looked like a scene from a movie or a video game.
If you don't obey road markings, something like this can easily happen to you as well. Tailgating can be really dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Never tailgate others, especially police officers. This driver didn't want to listen, and well... This truck driver tried to be smart and create his own exit route. Let's just say that it didn't go down well for him. In this next clip, you will see what happens to those drivers who use a bike lane. This camera caught a guy speeding on his dashcam, and let's just say that it won't turn out nice for him. Of course, tinted windows and speeding, where would we be without those drivers? How unlucky you have to get to pass an unmarked police vehicle on the shoulder of the road. Whenever the traffic is dense, you use the shoulder of the road. 
That's the motto of this rude driver, but unfortunately, it didn't work out quite well for him this time. Yes! It finally happened! Some a-hole speeding. Good job, cops. Yes! Yes! Good job, cops. Oh. I feel sad that it was a, some dumb youngster. It's more than obvious that this crazy driver was speeding. He sped like a flash past the biker, and of course, karma served. A few moments later. We are dealing with a self-entitled driver and a rude one at the same time. He thinks using the shoulder of the road is a legal right of his. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, really. What? And the police officer is pulling out to get him. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Uh, wow. I hope I see him pulled over. Uh, yep, there he goes. I wasn't doing it for the... I was clapping for the police officer. People still drive like crazy, even though the roads are wet and icy. Luckily, they are police officers who still deliver karma in this day and age. Why? 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 Speeding in a school zone is a big no-no, but luckily, car might serve as well. Park, we need to tip the cap to. 100%. They 
just keep going. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Still worth what he's worth, man. Johnny Depp lost it, though. Forbes magazine came out about five years ago and said, for every hundred dollars you put into a Johnny Depp movie, if, it's, if he's not dressed like a pirate, uh, you're getting a dollar back. What? Yeah. This is just a friendly reminder on why you shouldn't be speeding. A state trooper was driving in the middle lane, there's a huge sign on the back of his car and yet this speeder didn't notice it. Check out how he tried to brake, but it was already too late. Tara Fine Jewelry Company, just three miles from the Mall of Georgia in Beaufort. Coveted brands like Rolex, Forever Mark Diamonds, Vicky Moto, Roberto Coin, Tudor Watch. Driver was positioned in a straight ahead lane, and he did the most unexplainable thing ever as he cut left across the road and right in front of a police officer.
Oh, oh, please pull him over. Please pull him over. I'm gonna pull him over going slow. Get him, get him, get him! Yes. They're going to set on the fire and tell the police uh, that they had to get there around about uh, 6 o'clock and that was in Condon. So I'm sure we'll hear more about that today. A terrible news. At Power 100, being on the payroll is a pretty big deal. And we want to little, little things like stealing off the stationery and selling it on eBay get away. The only way you're off the payroll is when some of you get the info register now at power100.com.au and claim your cash weekday at 8, 4, and 3. Run as Leaf Club, planning a party or event, make a head of corporate and social media. Pull down Power 100. When you can't stand the heat, get into NQ Cool Electric. NQ Cool Electric repair, service, and overhaul all your auto air conditioning and auto electrical systems from LED, solar, batteries.
Oh wow. You know what I forgot to do? What? To turn the thermostat. What thermostat? In the bedroom and also in the hallway. I did. You did both? Because I turned it down. Oh my god, I forgot! <laughs> the, the bed, what, do you, do you have? Yep, there it is. There he is. Ah, uh, there he is, he got somebody. Wait, isn't that our little friend that I blew did. by us?
his time ever to come out of the way. Well, it looks like he could uh, kill me with uh, a 66280 and not an ounce of fat. Yes, you can get some black tape and put over his nose. Yes, he does. <laughs> Hidden Wake Forest Police. Liability crime under the law. Under 18 U.S. Code 1924, quote, whoever, being an officer, employee, contractor, or consultant of the United States, and by virtue of his office, employment, position, or contract, becomes possessed of documents or materials. Driver caught a reckless pickup trucker speeding down the road, but little did he know that an officer was patrolling the area just below. When he saw how fast this trucker was going, he immediately switched his emergency lights and turned around to chase him. Okay. It means something! By the way, as we were talking, 50... We were talking. It just moved again. It was 55% chance. That's called karma. Now, apparently in the summer, looking to move online, but I don't know if that's going to work because more so than any Ladies and gentlemen, we have another impatient red light runner getting what he deserves. Watch.
And they will help the rest back. Open, take first, second, and third squads. Sigzil, you've got fourth, fifth, and sixth. Pete, don't think I haven't seen you glowing. You take the other bridgeman. Taft, you take Guy, the scouts. Guy, following distance. Paladin looked around. 
In the face of such an atrocity, I would consider the sacrifice of one or more heralds to be a small price. Cows not without so much as a... What is going on? Shalon had never seen her respond to someone with the respect she gave Dalinar. Yes, no, Dalinar said. Even if the Pact of the Heralds still holds, we can't know that they'd stay in damnation, or the mechanics for locking away the Voidbringers there. That said, in first step, they must know much that can greatly <laughs> assist us. I will leave it... Obviously, listen to the voicemail and call them right back. Also, if you receive a call from a number and you know that you want to stop that number from being able to call you again in the future, simply do the following. You would simply repeat this for any new numbers that pop up.
finally. took off and was trying to race me. He is now getting pulled over. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. He's on the ground, really gay, it looks like cramps. Grabbing his leg.
Can I see your phone? I'll, I'll see if I can pull it manually. We should get the ring one though. I want to see for how, how it really works with my mom. Running a red light in front of police officer is not a good idea and something you should definitely avoid doing. This driver thought otherwise but he got reality checked really fast.
John. <laughs> Our good buddy John Decker uh, checking in with us. And uh, hey John, what's the what's the story here about uh, what's what's happening? In the Ukraine, in Ukraine. I know that's a that's a that's a big issue that's uh, that, that's on the table at this point. Well, I think it's the biggest issue right now uh, that is uh, confronting. Front oh! Administration. Uh, some news to report. Uh, the news being that NATO has sent more ships, more fighters. Do you realize you're speeding right in front of a cop, right? Right next to me, and he's now speeding up. No, God! No, God, please, no! Oh, yep. you got him. Here's Joe Taylor. Here is the light. Snow for us today. Two or three centimeters possible. Our guaranteed high minus one tonight. Partly cloudy. Few flurries minus six. Winter. Winter. Some wind over at Pearson. Light snow continues there. Temper there we go. City News Time 1243. Now the Dynamic Funds Market Minute. Live in the business.
Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. with the battery pack design itself, uh, with how they how they configure the cells in the battery pack and connect them all up. Um, they also, uh, their power electronics system, which is a, a key part of this, uh, that's, you know, the battery stores energy. Uh, I like all-wheel drive. Am I crazy to like all-wheel drive? No, I don't know. It's just, I don't know why. I don't know. The, uh, the touring.
Oh, that is great. He's driving too slow. It's 20 mile an hour speed limit, so I suggest you do the same. Okay. Off you go. Thank you. I gonna do throw a pop back at her hair at her head. No, I get kicked out of the crib. Damn, you sold that? Damn, you sold that? What the? Yo, he's getting fucked. He's getting fucked. He's, 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 he's running for the police, man. What, what the? Well, just look you in the eye. As you're bent over the exam table with your pants around your ankles, look you in the eyes. And your neurologist says, with his gloved finger dripping KY, I think I've sprained my prostate finger. <laughs> the shake hands. <laughs> That's all coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Where's Mr. Lee at the news desk? Where we go? Tom Arnold at the wisecrack desk. When he's right, he's right. There's Ace Brown. Just look into the light.
worth, which we, we can't really finance the movie on. We can't do anything with you, but yeah. Yeah, that's had a few upwards and some dips yes, and some has. flats. And yes, it has. That's really, depending on what year we asked whose mind it was from. Ain't that the way it always is? Jay Leno said that. He said, any actor, no matter who you are, he said, he, he was talking to somebody about doing stand. He was on a double day about He said, keep doing stand. I don't care how famous you get as an actor. After about eight years, you're always the last one. You're always you're always the last guy we call out. You're not. You're never going to be first chair the whole time. You got you got about eight years of relevance, no matter who you are. And then pretty soon, it's just hard to sustain, man. You just can't hit that many home runs. Park, we need to tip the cap to. Hundred percent. They just keep going. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Still worth what he's worth, man. Johnny Depp lost it though. Forbes magazine came out about five years ago and said, for every hundred dollars you put into a Johnny Depp movie, if it's if he's not dressed like a pirate, uh, you're getting a dollar back. What? Yeah. Mr. Speed Demon. And then he has to slam on his brakes because of the. Because he got one car. Bet you he's gonna go get that truck! Yes! 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 Karma, baby! Go get him! Oh, he didn't get the truck. Oh, he did. Uh, he got two people.
And with this video, we conclude another amazing episode. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and maybe learning something, like being patient in traffic. That definitely pays off. If you truly like my work, don't hesitate to leave a like because that would really mean the world to us. And while you're at it, subscribe and click on the bell button to stay up to date with all the latest content. Until the next one, ride safe and stay safe guys.